All right, David Curtis here, lead instructor of Western Mission Hills Golf Academy. I get this question quite a bit for short game. You know, David, how do I create that shot to hit the green and stop? How do I create that spin? Right? I see it on TV all the time. Well, one thing that a lot of golfers really don't realize, the, the pros on TV, every single week, they basically get new wedges every single golf tournament. They have a tour truck that's at the driving range on Tuesday, Wednesday. They make sure their equipment is perfect. Now, I see this quite a bit in the bags when they come to my golf school or clinics, especially with wedges. Like the grooves are completely caked with dirt, grass, uh, sand. It's just, it's just absolutely a mess. And then they try to chip a golf ball and the ball hits the green and it runs another 10, 15 feet past the hole. And they look at me, well, that didn't spin. Well, of course not. Your grooves are clogged up, right? It's absolutely covered in dirt. And I'll show you here right now the difference on what I typically see, right, right here, compared to my wedge, right? And we'll get a close-up of that uh, shortly. But just notice, if my grooves are really, really, really clean, my ball will grip into those grooves and create a tremendous amount more of backspin. That'll check the ball and not make it roll out as far. The grooves that are caked in with dirt and grass and all that stuff and sand, it's going to hit the, uh, hit the green and roll out quite a bit. And once again, it won't spin, it won't stop as quick. Uh, look at it this way, you guys. You never, well, I mean, maybe, some uh, maybe some people do, they, they drive on bald tires. So what happens with your stopping ability when you drive a car on bald tires? You skid and skid and skid, you don't actually stop. If there's tread, on your tires and you tap the brakes, it, you'll stop quicker. That's why everybody has to get a new set of tires before you leave the shop when the, when the, when the tire attendant says, look, you're below the actual tread wear. Same thing as wedges, you guys. Your, your grooves wear out eventually. You have to clean your grooves to want spin. Plus, you have to play a nice performing golf ball, a tour preferred golf ball, a four piece golf ball, a three piece golf ball. Please, 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 if you're trying to spin the golf ball, a top flight, a pinnacle, you know, those hard type of golf balls, those two-piece golf balls, will not spin as much, okay? So once again, this should answer a lot of the question. Clean grooves, a better golf ball, creating, creating speed will allow you to spin the golf ball more. You know, opening up the club face, adding more loft creates more spin, okay? So once again, Look at the difference here, you guys. Please show up to a lesson or the golf course with nice clean, glue, uh, nice clean grooves. All right, David Curtis signing off. I would just like to take a few extra seconds here and say thank you everybody for a great season. We are going to end our swing tip videos for the season uh, at the end of the month here. So take a nice little summer break. If you need some more help, look back on all these other videos or come out and keep me busy in the summertime. But we will start up back in October and we will have a couple little different clinic ideas this coming season. So I please hope uh, look out for the email blast on that coming up. And uh, once again, it was a really good season. Do appreciate everybody, all the support and all the comments that I have received over the season on great, great video here. That one didn't work so well. I'll try it again. But you know what? All these little tiny tips, you guys, will definitely help out. So thanks again for now, and we'll see you soon.